1940, the British Army formed a top secret unit designed to facilitate espionage and sabotage behind enemy lines. The unit was called the Special Operations Executive, or the SOE. My father was a pilot for SOE during the war. When he retired, his uh, firm presented him with a book by Professor Foote about the SOE. And in the book, it actually says there was a toy shop, a demonstration room, suitably housed in the Natural History Museum. Together, we looked through the archives of the museum, which are quite extensive, and there was no mention of this demonstration room. It was completely secret. So we went to see Mark Seaman at the Imperial War Museum and he opened this photographic album and there it was all laid out because you can see from the terracotta in the, and the architecture of this building, it was unmistakably the Natural History Museum. From the photographs, I was able to work out exactly where the demonstration room was. And it was three sealed rooms at the west end of the museum on the ground floor. This arch wasn't open for the demonstration room. There was a door here. And this here is the reception area of the demonstration room. And in the corner here was the emblem of SOE. The idea was if you were a field agent, you would be brought here to show what the SOE could supply you in terms of weapons and explosives. If you were a dignitary and your country had been occupied, you would also be brought here and they would show you what they could do and supply to your resistance fighters in your country. And just here, there was a, a lecture theater. As we move in, there was the demolition room, and this would show you how to use explosives big time to destroy big targets like bridges and so forth. And if we move further down, we would come into the radio room and they had here displays of lots of radios that could be used to contact headquarters. And in the corner here, there was a huge windmill and this windmill would be used to charge up the radios. This arch here was the entrance to the Marine Gallery. There was a parachutist on display. There was a diver standing here in diving gear and he was the pilot of a small miniature submarine. And there was a, a room that showed you how to camouflage. So what they did was they made coal or uh, plaster casts of logs and the logs were hollowed out and you could put the explosives into these hollow logs. If somebody looked into your vehicle just to search it, it would look as though they were just a pile of logs or a pile of coal it was sort of like a shop and you could say well I would like so many weapons so many explosives and you could the SOE would say this is how we could help you the resistance of your country or this is how we can help you as a field agent. Mm -hmm.